Aloha class, welcome to the tutorial on how to design your executive summary. What I have here is a mock executive summary for the Backyard mobile app, which allows you to rent out the items in your backyard or rent other people's backyard items. To get started, let's jump over to the design tool canva.com. Canva is a great tool to help you quickly and easily design your documents because it has lots and lots of templates. You can see down here, you can do Instagram posts, flyers, Facebook posts, and a lot more. For our tutorial, we're going to do proposals. There we go. And you can see here, there's lots of templates to select from, but we'll just use this one right here. And now we're taken to where we can actually design our executive summary. We can see here it gives us a cover page which you're required to have for your executive summary. So let's just do that. And let's be a little, add a little style and change the text to white. So we can kind of match that right here. And let's actually change A and B. This right here is who actually writes it. On our executive summary, it says it's by Bob Smith. And then we'll get rid of this. Delete. And we'll say, you know, the date. Let's put it as 2020. But you can do the date here. Now, this is a pretty ugly picture for a mobile app called Backyard. So let's go ahead and delete this. And when we do that, it shows that there's what is called an image frame that allows us to drop in another image. And there's two ways you can do this. We could go to their photos right here. And let's type in backyard and see what they have. So they have lots of great pictures for the backyard. Or you can actually upload right here. One of the sites that I put in the assignment that you can use is called Unsplash. And we can type in backyard. And that looks pretty magical. And so we can download that one for free. And I've already done that. So if we'll go back, in fact, I even already have it uploaded so I can take this and drop it in and as we can see that's pretty white so let's change that to black get make sure we can see Mr. Smith's name okay now we have a pretty nicely designed cover page but if we look here this is the template they give us for the second page and the images are taking up a lot of room particularly when you only have two pages after the cover page to design so let's go ahead and just delete that and let's go back up to the templates and I have this one right here and so we need to add a new page so we don't replace our effort here and let's go ahead and go with the one that I have here now obviously we want it to match the template that uh, we selected so let's change that to green we can put with Bob Smith and put executive summary here so now we have this very bland looking page and so let's delete this off and let's just move this up here now let's say we want to put in a picture and let's Go over here and let's actually put mobile and this one looks pretty good now this as you can see is behind the text and i'm going to want it to be in front of it and way too big so let's bring it down here now let's jump over to here and make this better so you can see you can add in pictures you can also add in shapes uh, you can even add in videos. So you can add in videos by uploading. You could take the video that you may have already created for the class and put it in so that they can watch it straight from the document and change out the backgrounds to what they have here. So I would then jump over to here and start switching out all the information that I have with my backyard mobile app and put it into uh, here and 
make it so that it fits the two page limit. Again, lots of options. You don't have to go with what I have shared here. You can look through all the things that are found with this and see which one might uh, tickle your fancy. So that's a, a quick way to design your executive summary. You have a lot of options on how to make it look professional and you just have to keep it to two pages after the cover page. All right, good luck.